Well, let's get started. Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday. We're about to go ahead and go through a few setups, see if we can grab a little bit of money um, from the charts before the market closes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to focus on the first three that I have over here, my active trading for the week, and then we'll get into if anyone has any questions over any pairs or want me to review them for them real quick. And then we'll go to end indices and see if we can catch them over on there. Uh, if you didn't set like a TP on the indices, uh, somebody rich and they keep them quiet. Let's go to, let's go so far. So we'll talk on GA, make a completely new markup. Okay, GA, we have an uptrend here. I see an uptrend on a lower time frame. I'm gonna set a high right here, cross press in like that. Boom, that's our daily, uh, tighten that up. We'll draw, we can do this one. We also have another one. We can just try actual one on the lower time frame. Okay, so we have a long term, a medium term, but I have a short term trend line. And obviously, when the trend lines break, if for a correction and sell, as long as the uh, as long as the market continues to correct to our trend lines, we're buying off of the trend lines. If it's not moving correctly, shouldn't be looking for an entry. So correct it down. Here's our uptrend. Let's talk about this little time frame. Long term, medium term, short term. Okay, and I'm um, seeing potentially on a lower time frame we have a downtrend here. So I'll draw that and we're gonna wait for a break of that downtrend or this uptrend. Wait for a correction right after that and then act accordingly and know what it shows us. All right. Another downturn on there. That's like that's like too many lines. I don't really want that line. So I'm gonna wait for a break of either this trend line or that trend line. Wait for correction and buy still. Seem easy enough. Oh yeah. Set alerts on these. What's the time frame? I mean, I mean, it doesn't really matter what time frame. Like, if you get a break on one time frame, you pretty much get a break on all time frames. Um, but I say, like, watch it on the one hour below because we only have Friday today. And to be more exact, I'm setting the alerts on the 15 minutes. So if you just want to watch on the 15 minute, that's fine too. When we say break, we're looking for an impulsive break. Not it should not be moving like small candles breaking it. it. Should be an aggressive move breaking it, and then that correction should be clear to you and find all the confirmations to answer after that. So that was GA. Next pair is U Chef. U Chef has started that move that we talked about. Let me see if I can find it real quick. 
if we said we we're looking for it to come down here come back up break this trend line give us a correction and continue up and that is exactly what it did this is the area that we were talking about at the time and obviously it wasn't exactly like this but it's a little rough sketch came down it was correction then continued up and really never went below here because it just held it and then got that move up. Huh? Huh. All right. It's basically the same thing we were looking for on GA, like just waiting for that break the trend line and then waiting for a correction afterwards. So let's go to the weekly. On the weekly time frame, we see we have a supply zone down here. So up here, we have a demand zone up here. We have a downtrend, potential channel actually. Uh, that's nasty. That's not see this tool. You can draw this trend line. You can draw like this, or you can draw like this, and get these two touches. Um, for just because I want my chart to look a certain way, I'm gonna draw like this. We have impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse waiting for another correction, or potential one more visit down to the bottom here. Price impulsively breaks this trend line. We're looking for a correction and then to buy all the way up to the top of there. Okay, and then when it gets to the top there, we're going to be looking to sell. But right now we're looking to buy, so price can come back up to this trend line. And the area that we're going to be looking to sell, if it moves correctively, is going to be right here. All right, so we're going to be buying our lower time frame and uh, selling when price gets up to this area or looking to sell when price gets up to that area. All right, there's trading view go messing up my trim line again. Okay. Nothing I can draw here, so I'm just going to go to the lower time frame and find this uptrend right there. I know that the uptrend or the downtrend has broken. The downtrend that we had is broken now. And clearly you can see we have a series of impulses and corrections. So the most recent impulse has formed a correction and it's pretty much already sat in the kill zone that we want it to be at it's in the last four hours it's eight o'clock so that's pretty recently this candle has happened one part come back down here one more time and we're gonna throw fibonacci's on it see what fibonacci level this is that's gonna be 61.8 but that's one hour it's not looking good, fam. Okay, this zone is a 61.8 off of the four hour time frame. Uh, this is our impulse, this is our correction. We have a ton of confluence here. Um, ideally, we just want price to come back down here one more time and then look for that move up. We're gonna be looking for a JCP in this area. When we get it, we enter and we set our stop loss uh below the previous low which is about 100 pips if you want to play safe let's say you don't like setting 100 pips stop loss you can set a 50 pip stop loss of course we're going to go for a bare minimum of 100. you set the 100 pip stop loss you're going to go for 200 pips if 200 pips is here take it it is there so that would be a good trade to take now for this trade i'm not gonna suggest swinging it it's just because i want to close all trades out that i send out in the discord uh, by Friday, but if you're comfortable with that um, or comfortable with holding your trades over the weekend, you can go ahead and do that. But we're only going to go for 100 pips here. And risk 50. And of course, I gotta put this thing here. It's 
this make sense? Any questions over this at all? Yeah, makes sense. All right, Chad, if you want. So weekly, okay, right there on that line where that alert was. Man, it's a shame I'll stop looking at this. It's so good. Um, there's a demand zone. Price has just visited and now it's just exploded up. So it's a highly respected area for price to continue back up. Again, the area that I'm gonna just consider my supply zone is gonna be right here. It's the most area of price has respected over a long time frame because we're geez, on the weekly time frame. We have multiple touches there. Uh, all right, so acting within this window, I'm going to be looking for a downtrend. And honestly, I'm just going to draw this downtrend here first as my long term trend line. I know this is the strongest trend line that I have in my chart right now. So when price gets to that area, I'm definitely going to be looking for a sell setup. Let's go ahead and go down to the daily. This whole impulse is a downtrend. So on lower time frame, we'll draw the downtrend. If the downtrend is broken, we'll go ahead and draw uptrend instead. Let's go to the four hour. Downtrend is like that. And the downtrend is breaking as we speak. So as it's breaking, when this, uh, I don't know why I couldn't think of like any words to say for a second. <laughs> that was weird to say. But um, impulse shooting up past this trend line. We're gonna wait for a correction to the zone. Correction at the zone, we're looking for a continuation up to this supply area up here. Okay, pretty simple, pretty easy. That's a potential 700 pips. Nobody wants 700 pips. So let's go ahead and come down to here. Uh, let's just say for, I mean, we could say for today, we may want 700 pips, but I know y'all really don't want it. Um, so at the bottom of this previous uh, area, that's the first thing that we're really looking for. So yeah, that's good, bro. What's up, bro? So from here to here, we're going to be looking for uh, 234 pips. So let's go down to lower time frame, figure out if we see if we can find our correction. Um, which the correction hasn't started because impulse is still active. Impulse has not stopped yet. Come out to 15 minute, and we can potentially find impulses and corrections to get in on this, uh, this little thing right here, this impulse here. And this is going to be something that you're going to be tracking on the five minute if you're going to buy. So same thing as always, wait for your confirmations. This is the setup right here, waiting for price to correct here. First gets to this area, look for a small JCP, look for a little quick, what is this, 50 pips maybe? You can get a little quick 40, 30, 30 to 40 pips. Okay. Let's go ahead and send the word here. It's risky, obviously, because this is an impulse. You don't know when the impulse is going to stop. So, I mean, I am going to let you know that it's risky. Uh, the bigger setup, you're waiting for like a four hour or a one hour correction. Right? But this is just like a quick little move. Thanks. For the money, we don't really need that much. I think we're over like 3,000 pips already for the week. We don't need to trade. Oh, that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to use more of the sniper entry method. Since we're way ahead. And let me make sure I send all these out. Okay. But does anybody have any uh, pairs they want me to go over? Uh, Dakota, we sent an uh, alert on that support I'm just right there. Yes, I always set an alert at the top of my kill zone. 
So I know when person is in that area, I immediately start looking for a JCP. Let me see. Repairs. Uh, yeah. GM was pretty nice to me last night. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I caught GN last night for around like 74 pips. It's pretty decent. But it was just a London session. But I'm trying to, I don't know if it'll reverse for the for the New York session. Or not. Good morning. Dr. Wiscount, please report to the main office. Dr. Wiscount, please report to the main office. Good morning. Dr. Wiscount, please report to the main office. Mm, and then there's one more. We did the GA. Mm -hmm. All right. Why these trading will be tweaking? Trend, we can set a supply zone and we can set a demand zone. But okay. So I'm not gonna draw this huge uptrend, I'm not gonna draw this huge channel because we're not gonna swing this right now. We're just going to draw uptrend, draw a supply zone right here at the most recent high. The next supply zone, if this area breaks, is gonna be there. But I don't need that right now. Just know that. So right now we're looking for a sell. Price is at the top of this area. Price is formed a what looks like to be an ascending channel. Um. So let's go down. And yes. yes. Okay. We got this huge uptrend right here. We see price is breaking. Uh, that uptrend. So we're going to wait for a correction right after that and look to sell back down to that bottom of that trend line. Everybody following me? Mm-hmm. So let me just adjust that a little bit too. Let's just bring it to the most recent, the highest high. Right there. Right there. Okay. Four hour. Uh, it looks like it's trash on the four hour. Yeah. But I'm just going to edit it like that. It's still an aggressive break. And we could technically say we have a downtrend like this. But I mean, I don't like this natural too much, to be honest. But this is mm -hmm. spot. I look for prices correct up to here. I'm on to this zone. As soon as it gets to this zone, look for a uh, JCP. And so let's go ahead and add an alert. Okay. So that's why, um, that's why G, or yeah, that's why GN had a big sell off, huh? Because it hit that supply zone. Well, it had a sell off in the 15 at least. Yeah, it dropped. A lot of fish last night. Uh, uh, this, uh, that wick is like tweaking this thing out. All right, yeah, I hate that trend line, so we're gonna add it like this. Sheesh, that's like really still going crazy. First, this is this here to look for a JCP, like I said. Correction hasn't finished yet, but I'm just gonna mm -hmm. drop it out. I don't really know when it's gonna correct, you just gotta keep waiting. And obviously, if the trend line breaks, I'd say go ahead and draw this trend line. And let me just keep both of them. I should not draw it just because I don't like it. I feel that. Okay. 
270 pips top loss. No, I'm not. Uh, let's go ahead and put 100 pips top loss is cool for this trade. And we go for 200. Understand how much you're risking. I always suggest risking 1% and then going for 2%, bare minimum. You risk 1% and go for 3%. Or if you risk like 3%, you can go for 9%. Uh, understand the reward ratio. Go ahead and review that sample size spreadsheet I made for you guys. It's pinned in the Discord chat. So if you click uh, the little thumbtack, leave in the top right, you can see everything that I've pinned. Everything that I've pinned is usually important stuff that I want you guys to know or note down. Um, all right. Let's see what I want to check out what Bitcoin is doing before we check out these indices. Okay, but Bitcoin. Let me see. I need to have that on my watch list. All right, let me add it. Bitcoin. Oh wow, the gold actually go with this crazy. Jeez. Okay, Bitcoin has made a new trend line and broken the like area. What's going on? Oh, okay, I guess you talking to someone else. Let's go ahead and delete this. Let's, um, we're going to keep this trend line because it is an important trend line still. It's not broken yet. We have a short term trend line here or a medium term trend line. And probably on the fifth minute, we have a short term trend line. Uh, let's first look at what's going on in our daily time frames. Looking, I love it. One price comes down to this supply area and then looking for that bounce up again. Uh, price goes any lower. If price breaks this area, look for a correction and then sell. I mean, they just keep tanking. Uh, let's go set that right there. We'll set an area here to bring the supplies on. And yeah, and that's pretty much it on the daily. Let's go to the eight hour, nothing. Well, downturn on the eight hour. Is our medium turn trend line. And we do not need that alert anymore. So, yep. Yeah, and after the session, I will go, I will live stream on Discord. Like, you know, we can just watch uh, some of the pairs set up if they set up. Okay, what do you guys think we're looking for here? Wait for the correct back up to that trend line and see how yes. it reacts. Yes, sir. Waiting for that correction. It is trend line, and then we're going to be looking to sell as long as it's moving correctively. Let's jump down to our one hour. Uh, ooh, reset that. Looking nasty. Okay. So, technically, got a downtrend here. We got two touches from up here. I'm basing off of them, not basing this as a touch. Just to clarify, I am going to extend it right there. It is moving correctly up to this area, and this actually is a kill zone. Okay, so that's potential beautiful setup. Um, so honestly, we do have an evening star there, so that's the opportunity to enter. 
here. We got a little bit of room to go, so we can set we can set close to a thousand pip stop loss. And like I said, understand how much you're risking. If you cannot have a thousand pip stop loss, or you can't have a seven hundred pip stop loss, and only risk one or two percent, uh, don't trade it. And when I say one to two percent, I'm saying one to two percent of your account size. Okay, so I got a question. Answer. So, um, what is like the pit value for um, Bitcoin? Like, is it like, is it any different from like, like, yeah, like? I actually haven't. I honestly can't give you a the actual number, but from what I've seen, I think it's like essentially the same as gold. Like basic class sizes, like um. Micro ten cents, mini one dollar, standard ten. Mm. But there's this thing called Google, which we can actually find out the real answer. Here's good. Tip. Okay. Pardon me, staff. I just sent an email to you all. I need you to check that email this morning, please. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna intercom on this stuff. Yeah, you can just look. So if there are ten BTC. Not bad. Are you okay? And one standard lot, then one pip is. Dakota, I gotta go to work, but thanks, bro. I'll catch you later. Yeah, no problem, bro. Have a good day. All right. Oh, this is a forum. Oh, a hundred units. Okay, I see. Okay. I was thinking I was thinking they were talking about like a standard. Mm. All right. So uh like here I'm looking to sell here. So stop loss two to one risk to reward ratio. Okay, going for fifteen hundred pips there. And I mean, she's gonna hit that red sell or she's gonna take profit. Oh, um, let's check Fibonacci. 78.6, that's a deep retracement level, so that means drop a big loss size. Um, we can go down to the 15 minutes, see if we can see anything else telling us to sell. So at this correct moment here, uh, it's right at the order block. Like everything is perfect on this. So there's no way I'm not taking this trade, honestly. And because like all the confirmations are perfect, everything is a lot of confluence here. Yeah. It's, it's just a perfect setup. Uh, let's go to. to account for this loss this week so if it does lose let's go to y'all want to see some indices or y'all want another forex pair mm -hmm. oh oh okay yeah so uh indices in 
So, <laughs> what are like US thirty or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna focus on that. US thirty now is S P index. See if they give us some opportunities. Looks like I deleted everything. All right. Let's see how to approach this. Ascend channel broken. Ascend channel looking for a correction here, correcting up to this area. So we're going to be looking for a bot. Mm, no, we're still looking for it still because it's really strong. Unless we have like a fifteen minute uptrend. This uptrend here, so let's draw this. Yeah, it's right there. That move, right? Yeah, we yeah. All right, and plus the platform is going to be right there. When I'm looking at pricing, I'm going to look for price to. Start to push up a little bit, but still have that. I obviously never go against the um, thing, the impulse. So that's an eight hour. We clearly have a downturn here. Let's draw that. So we can we shouldn't buy it until this downturn is broken, unless we have something on a smaller move, like if we have a small opportunity. Uh. We have another downtrend there. It's going to be clear on the one hour. Okay, we got two touches. We got price breaking that. We have enough. Yo. Okay. We have an ascending channel. Here, so I'm looking for price to start to correct. One price to correct. Hey, whoever got um, they volume like turned up really hot. Turn like meet yourself because I'm hearing the echo. Or put some headphones in, please. Thank you. Good. So we have this ascending channel. Ooh. This is sending channel look for price to correct to here and then give us a slight push up to this area. Um, honestly, yeah, let's go for that. We don't know when this is going to end. So technically this Fibonacci is not correct yet. We have to wait for the correction to actually start. But right now this is the 50 Fibonacci level. Um, look for that to bounce off and go up. If price comes deeper, look for it to retest this trend line and then push up slightly to this trend line. Like there's two trend lines. I'm talking about retest off this trend line and retest this trend line. Yeah. Um, and then when it gets to this trend line, if it gets to there correctively, look for a sell. And let me actually make this plain. And if you do not see what I'm about to draw, obviously do not enter. If you don't see that, then you don't see your JCP on like the 15 minute or the five minute. Enter. Ah, oh, I forgot to send Bitcoin to Discord. Give me five minutes. Yeah, always going for two to one. We're going to go to the Lord's offer and set this uh, stop loss. You can get a previous low, just find the area that actually makes sense to set it. If not, we're going to base it off our Fibonacci's. Okay, it looks like we're going to base it off our Fibonacci's. It's above the previous uh, Fibonacci level. I think we're looking at that on the one hour, so right below the 61.8. I'll go down to 15. We'll set a slick little two to one. 
right there. And that's the move. Okay, and before I move on to the next one, let me send out the screenshot first. This is the one hour, got a one hour evening star. And again, if you are watching this video and you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description. Uh, we do calls every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. All right, let's go ahead and go to NAS. Pretty much everything's like going to be the same, almost the same thing. Got an uptrend. Crisis whipped out at that uptrend. They're really trying to push this up. Definitely downtrend on a lower time frames. Let's just get all the way down to the four hour. Looking for us to retest this trend line, come back down one more time, potentially form the W and then break this trend line, give us a correction, then come back up to that area. Uh, structure wise, for, that is a medium term trend line. Here is a long term trend line. Well, yeah, it is a long term trend line. And then we're going to find a short term uptrend. Like, and we'll, we're going to be hedging. Yeah, why not? Let's use NAS to hedge. And then we'll do the same thing that we did on US 30 on whatchamacallit, SP 500. All right. Uh, few areas that we could look to sell. Let's just go with the ideal area. It's gonna be right here. Kind of like that area too, but let's do this one. One price to move up to this area and potentially from an ascending channel, gets there in an ascending channel. Looking for a JCP right in the area and then we're gonna be selling off and it's gonna be, we're gonna to try to make this a real quick move, nothing that you gotta stay in for a few hours. So let's go down to a lower time frame. After we do all this, 61.8 Fibonacci level that zone is. All right, and there's two potential opportunities. Okay, you can wait for the risky entry, which is actually gonna be inside of the kill zone. We can look for the safety entry, which I'll show you. So I'm gonna have two setups here. And if we lose one and we win the other, I'll include the one that we lost as a loss. Like I always include the losses in every single, every single week with all the pips. Uh, that's two, well, we can do 100. We can definitely do 100. Wait for a JCP in that area. Just go for a little bit of a 200 right there. Okay, so this is going to be your risk entry. Your safe entry is waiting for a break here. Wait for a small correction and then sell. And we don't really have any structure to base this off of, but the area, but this is like the general area that we're going to be looking for that to actually happen at. And like with everything, we're going to wait for a JCP in this area. We're going to sell. And honestly, for this next one, let's just go all the way down here. Have a, let's go for a six to one. And that should push us, put us in a pretty good area for next week. <laughs> But don't hold this over the weekend. Okay, it's not even gonna get to that point if it does what we want it to do uh, before the market closes. Okay, so we're hedging that. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on, we did on US 30 on S&P 500. We have a kill zone right here. We're looking for a correction. 
this area and we are going to buy this this area and there are two possibilities can anybody tell me what those two possibilities are when we enter a trade every time we enter a trade what are the two possibilities that could happen Either sell or buy. <laughs> right, exactly. So that also means it can either hit our stop loss or it can hit our take profit. Yeah. So now that we've accepted that, we come to the realization that it can hit our stop loss or our take profit. We don't care about this anymore. All right. So uh, looking for this to come all the way down to here, look for a JCP in that area. That is the 50 and 61.8. I'm going to go for the 50 Fibonacci level. All right, so look for it in that area. And I mean, I was real. I'm being like real generous with this uh, stop loss. Uh, but we're good. That's a nice little easy move. We'll move it up a little bit to start looking for it there. But obviously, we're going to enter off of the JCP when it gets there. Okay, so we are buying US 30, we are buying SP 500, we are selling NAS, means we should probably sell DAX. Um, looks like price is gonna come up here to fill this gap, come up to, to this area, so I would look for a sell right here. Let's back up. Let's do a full markup of DAX. It's not just rushing thing. Let's go to the weekly. Mm. Back to the way more cap well has gaps. Uh, it'll be a little bit different. Okay, we have a downtrend. We have a downtrend all over time frame. But also the daily. There's a downtrend there. There's a downtrend there. Yeah, we can let's just try here. So going down to the one hour. Okay, and then we have a one hour downtrend. Reset that, and we also have an option here. But we're going to draw that on the 15 minute. Price is right here at this area, this uh, trend line. So it's going to have a major decision to make. We're going to wait for a break in either direction, but we're hedging. So we're going to be looking for a sell opportunity regardless. Let's go to the 15. Get that uptrend right here. Bank. I, I really want to buy this, but I mean, instead of like in order to hedge, I'm going to have to sell. Uh, there's no like real setup to sell like at the moment. I mean, it's right at the trend line, but if you don't sell just because it's at the trend line, we don't have a pattern to on this. That's why you come down. Uh, so. What we need is we need price to break that uptrend that we have drawn there. All right, so honestly, there are two possibilities. Look for a correction, look for a continuation up to this area. If you really like want to trade this, I'm going to show you this, but like if you just want to hedge and collectively trade all these with us, uh, I mean, just look for the sell because we're, we're going to be selling this instead of buying. Um, if you look for the sell, we're going to wait for a break of that trend line. We can get in a little bit sooner. No, that's terrible. Yeah, we're gonna wait for the break of that trend line. Look for a correction here and sell off. The area that we're gonna sell off at is gonna be here. Look for JCP in each of those zones. Well, I didn't draw the buy zone for this one. Hope this doesn't confuse you. Looking for an impulse here, correction here to that zone. Look for the sell off there. Look for an impulse here. Look for a correction to this zone. Look for a buy all the way to this zone. 
price gets to here, we're looking for an opportunity to sell as long as it's moving correctly. Does everyone see those two scenarios? Do they make sense or do I need to clear anything up? Looks good, bro. Looks good. Okay, cool. So uh, we're going to put in a order here. And why not? Let's go for three to one on this one as well. So we're going for two to one on US 30. That means if you risk 1%, you go for 2%. If you win it, you gain 2%. If you lose it, you lose 1%. We're also buying SP 500 and SP 500. We're also doing it two to one. You win it, you gain 2%. You lose it, you lose 1%. So if you lose US 30 and SP 500, you lose 2%. If you win both of them, you win 4%. On NAS 100, I believe we went for a three to one. We, well, we have two opportunities. The opportunity that I'm going to use it as, as an example is this top one. Okay, we're going for a two to one. If you risk 1%, you go for 2%. Well, you have the potential to lose 1%, you have the potential to gain 2%. Uh, I mean, like, in this situation, let's just say that we lose US 30 and SP 500, but we win NAS 100. That is break even. Hey, D, shouldn't S&P be doing the same thing as US 30 and NAS? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm... Like with these every morning, like I just hedge. I do the opposite on two of them and I do what I really see happening on the other two. Okay. Okay. Like there are different opportunities on two of them. <sighs> so for this one, look, oh, we already went over that DAX. I'll look for a break of one of these trend lines. Um, if you want to buy, you can buy, but if you want to go in the flow with hedging everything, like um, look for the breakdown, look for the sell. Other than that, like don't enter. If you don't get this set up, don't enter. If you don't get any of these setups, do not enter. There's no point in risking your money for no reason, especially if you don't have your setup there. Okay. And that is it. I think earlier, CAD JPY uh, alert went off. <laughs> it went off and gave us a three inside up, and it's pushing up now. And it gave us the 30 pips, it looks like. Uh, but I didn't, I can't even count this. It hasn't given us the 30 pips yet. But I can't even count this because I didn't put a PL here. So I guess we're not going to count that 30 pips. Uh, and like I said, price is already pushing up. So you should, looks like it's going to take off. Looking for a late entry on you should look for a small retest in this area. And then let's buy. Because price is pretty much like taking off. It still has potential to come back here one more time, but honestly, I don't really see it happening. But I mean, did that make sense or do I have to like exp expand on what I just said? Like did anything that I say like confuse or like didn't make sense? Like that it sounded like Dakota, what are you talking about? That sounds stupid. Anyone have any thoughts like that? <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. What about more quiet people? That makes sense. Okay, cool. All right, so that is everything. I'll go ahead and stream on the Discord and we'll watch some of these pairs together. Um, if you have any questions, you can type in the chat or you can just say something. Uh, I'll mute yourself on the Discord and say something and I'll respond as soon as I can if I'm near the computer. But I'll catch you guys tonight at 7. All right. All right, dude.